Hello my soccer universe, Feyenoord are the new Eredivisie champions and so I thought it's time to right a wrong in my collection, finally. Um, I'm wearing a Feyenoord away jersey that I recently acquired, but my problem with Feyenoord was always that I have a home jersey, namely this one from the 10-11 season that I was never really happy with. Sure, it has some really cool features, I don't mind the color. I just don't like the, the, this part of the color. I, the, this part I never got on board with, but what bugs me the most is that they spoil the half and half look with this little patch here. Uh, so yeah, I really like the silicone crest and there's some really nice uh, detailing in here on the side with the F from Fener. But I was never really happy and the reason I was never really happy is that it was kind of I made a compromise I was about to buy and this was I want to say two years ago I was about to buy a Feyenoord jersey from the same seller I think it was a 12-13 season also Puma shirt that I really like with the round collar um, with the AS, I think it was an ASR sponsor and just when I wanted to buy it the you know i have been considering for for a while probably way way to long but the seller said no i don't have it anymore i only have this one and although he made me a good price i paid less than 20 euros for it um i was never really pleased but i thought for my channel i needed one uh so for the longest of times you have seen this shirt in my videos in my review videos um but i have to say among all the shirts that i had it always bugged me that this was kind of a compromise that I didn't get because I usually I usually get jerseys that I actually like the look of or there is something special about it and while I can find some redeeming features and the fact that it, it was without sponsor is actually not so uh, bad I was never really a big fan of that particular shirt so uh, now that Feyenoord have been doing quite well and on top of it and most importantly former last captain Trauna is playing for them and is actually quite the uh, important guy for them. I have been on a mission to get a more recent Feyenoord shirt or a nice Feyenoord shirt on top of it you know I have um, I always felt I need more Feyenoord shirts in my collection to me they're one of the biggest teams uh, in Europe still although they're not playing in one of the top five leagues. So uh, for, for that reason, I wanted to have a replacement home shirt. I got the away jersey to kind of uh, even out the collection and also for my Eredivisie review to add a little bit more color because as you know, most top clubs in the Netherlands, at least at the moment, have red and white. And now, uh, it's a longer story and uh, please feel free to skip ahead if, if, if you want. The I really would have liked to get either last season shirt or the shirt from the current season. Now for the current 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 season, it was always going to be a major investment. Uh, either I had to go through the Netherlands or the Feyenoord store would have cost me uh, north of a hundred euros uh, potentially. So I was not ready to commit to that. But I saw in Wilhelm last season's home shirt. Some was telling me, I bought it in Rotterdam for 45 euros and it looked good. And I didn't do my due diligence and when once it arrived I already had a wrong feeling because it felt it fitted tight and whatever. And of course it turns out to be a fake. It doesn't even have the tags. And I was so gutted with that. I mean, I should probably have put the uh, the video. And uh, it's only the there, there's not many telltale signs, but you know, as as soon as you look at how the Adidas logo looks crappy, and that the tag is missing, gave it away. Also, the sponsor was a little bit too sticky. So I was really mad at myself. And some of you may know how mad I was and I was actually got it because uh, you know when you buy from proper seller there's no returns whatsoever and I just spent 40 euros on that one and I thought this is totally worth it now it was not totally worth it this was going to a goodwill store and then um, it was the time when I knew 
I was in contact with Idris who had a few shirts waiting for me to be printed. You know, this was the whole thing that uh, parcels were stuck in England. I had the Milan shirts as another shirt that I will reveal to you probably towards the end of the season. Um, and while we were waiting, you know, shirts got piled on at, at one point and I asked him, you know, I cannot find a really good Feyenoord shirt that I like, but if you find one for a price, most 30 euros or so on, please let me know and let's see if we can find uh, if you can find one i would be very happy he delivered in very very short time i have to say the one that he found was no i mean i always said ideally the two from the this or the previous season but i knew this was not realistic but he found one and i'm very pleased to have that one and so it's this huge asus parcel where i've taken quite a few out of it and let's take out the Feyenoord shirt that he got to, for me to also honor the new Dutch champions. We agreed very, very quickly it should be an Adidas one. And we got an Adidas one. Uh, I think this is, yeah, this is from the season before the one when Trauna came. So that makes it the uh, 2021 season as far as I know. And it is this shirt. Classic Feyenoord, half half look. I really like the black striping here. Uh, it still has the drum parking uh, or drum parking sponsor. The crest is cloth material, but uh, looks actually much nicer than the one that uh, on the fake one I have. And what I really love about it is that they really went all the way out with the half half look, because back then Adidas had this really weird style on the back. But I have to say, I enjoyed this part that on the back, it still is half half. It looks weird, but it's still half half. And that to me made it all the more special. Uh, it also says Feyenoord Rotterdam right here. Uh, very pleased with this shirt. I gotta, gotta, I gotta say it is a bit large. It's a double XL, but you know, uh, I think it was a very decent price. And you know, if you just look at the Adidas logo and compare it with the one that I showed you before, Maybe very. Just the eyes give it off rather quickly. So, yeah. You live, you learn. I have a proper Feyenoord shirt, Feyenoord home shirt. Now, this is gonna feature now a lot in my videos, and if for any reason. I get one of the previous or the current season home or away, preferably with a Trauna name set. I would love that. I might go for it. I just don't want to pay full price for this. But I also realized that now with Feyenoord having clinched the title, unless you go into the Europa League final, it's a very successful period under Arne Slot. It will be really, really hard to get these jerseys. But there it is. Yes, it is big, but actually don't mind that. Yes, with Adidas I have learned that my size, I, an L I can pull off. This is an L and it fits quite nicely. XL fits loosely. This one will probably fit a little bit like uh, very loose, but sometimes that's not the worst thing. And you know, for videos, this actually makes uh, for a quite nice fit. Again, what I really enjoy is the total half-half look with a little bit of black um, added on. And the other thing is that the sponsor just has the white outline around. So there is no box, which makes it also look quite nice. Although you know that in the 80s, when Johan Cruyff was playing for them, they had a yellow sponsor, which I... It's one's uh, odd detail. Let's put it that way. In any case, le let me know if you like this uh, jersey. Let me know what Feyenoord shirts you have in your collection told you I will still be on the lookout for more current ones but I'm very happy to have this one and most importantly thank you Idris for finding this one for for me it kind of caps a search and a annoyance on my part that has been there for two years in any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and see more talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!
Bye.